Good morning, tubers, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle, and this is Discover Rescue. Dun, 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 dun. Today, I figured I would do another Airstream related video on the fridge, actually. It is a dem 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 demonic. Dometic. <laughs> it is a Dometic fridge, and I will post all the specs I can find online right here. And I kind of really like the fridge. This is going to be on how I do a very quick defrost that you can do in just a few hours versus having to wait almost an entire day. Um, when you live in here full time, it's kind of hard to just empty it out, turn it off, let things thaw out. Um, there's the little slats. I'll put thingy on there that shows how they freeze and that definitely does not help airflow in there which obviously does not help with keeping things at the proper temperature um, however people have complained that it does not keep things at the right temperature and if anything with me everything freezes in there uh, lettuce wow I have a very hard time keeping lettuce anywho I figured I would show you a few tips and tricks of what I do to get this thing done in a jiffy um, so here we go so first things first, you're going to need a few props and I highly recommend getting some really good insulated bags. I use these guys. They're from Sam's Club. They're huge. Um, they keep a bunch of stuff in there really cold, really well. And then obviously some of these um, totes, I guess they're called. And I have this that I stole from my mom, which is pretty great. <laughs> Um, when I do this and it's cold outside, which it is right now, I'm just going to put everything in this and just put it outside. It's freezing. So the first thing you're going to do, obviously, is you're going to turn off your fridge and then you're going to start emptying your fridge in a very organized fashion. I highly recommend you think this out. Don't just throw items in. Um, when I do this and it's summertime, obviously I have a lot more of these guys versus the open one. I recommend at least two or three and then take your frozen item and split them up in between the bags that way that kind of can act as ice cubes without having to get any ice packs kind of thing obviously if you have those ice packs are great but you'll learn really quickly that they do not fit very well in the freezer here and you don't really want to waste that space so that being said it is probably 12 degrees outside um, it is sunny but I'm just gonna put everything in here and in this one tote probably um, and just put it outside. So here's my fridge full of stuff and my freezer. So like I said, I'm gonna start with the freezer and I'm going to empty it in my compartment. One thing I do not do, so I normally do not do this. I normally do not do this, freeze something in the packaging it came in. Um, this takes a lot of space. When I get my proteins, I actually just pre portion everything and then I package them individually so you got chicken you got shrimp uh, you got a turkey leg over here some kielbasa sausages and like I said this acts like really great ice packs Kong Pikachu you can tell I actually have quite a bit in here and voila it does not have to be perfect obviously the whole point of this is that we do it super quickly and so you don't have to worry too much about that. Ice is a hot commodity, people. This is what I found. So this thing is a little silicone one and unfortunately it's really hard to fill it with water and just put it in the freezer, especially when there's a bunch of stuff in there. So I put it on a little tray thingy. I'm sorry, ice cubes, I'm about to lose you. And then once I've done that, then I start on the fridge stuff. Um, the fridge stuff, I mean... I try to do this somewhat organized, but I'm not too picky or particular. Again, this is just for a couple of hours. The whole point of this process is that it is super duper quick. All right, so now everything is out of the fridge. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it all outside because it's nice and cold outside. And I'm gonna come back in here and we're gonna start the defrost process. But for a tiny fridge and freezer like this, I mean, look at all this food. And I have this, and I have that, and I have in this bag as well. So now, as you can see, 
all this is nice and frozen. It's actually pretty thick. And then down here, it doesn't seem like it's so bad. And then you have that. And honestly, this is not that bad. I've had it so much worse before, but it's important that all of that comes out. If you were to leave it to just thaw out on its own, it would actually take it forever. And so you not only have to wait for everything thaws out, um, but then you have to close everything up, power your fridge back on, and then on top of that, wait another two hours or so at least for the temperature to drop down um, cold enough so that when you put the food in there, you're not overloading everything. So now I will show you the two or three things that I do to speed up this process. It's quick, it's easy, and it's let's get it done. So the thing with a fridge, it keeps things cold just like it can keep things warm. It's an insulated box. So for this part of the project, I actually have props as well. Um, three things. I have a hair dryer. I know, crazy, but not so much. Uh, microwave safe bowl actually you normally use a glass bowl but I'm not sure what I did with mine so we're gonna go with this one um, so the first thing I do is I take my little bowl and I fill it up with hot water and then I plop it in the microwave for like eight minutes or more um, and let that water basically come to a boil the reason I do it in the microwave versus boiling water um, well it actually helps clean the microwave afterwards when you steam something in there like that it is super easy to wipe it down so when the water comes out of the microwave piping hot I put it in the freezer right here close the door and let it do its thing and while that's working on that then I'm gonna work on the fridge put down a towel because I you can see things are already starting to melt and if you since we're doing this super fast um, this is the condensation catching tray and as you can tell the hole over there is really sort of small And so I actually remove this because if I don't um, Because we're doing this so fast Because we're doing this so fast it actually um, will flood your kitchen floors and so remove this little tray very easily and now you have your dripping right onto the towel which is what you want because you don't want this to end up on the floor and then you take your little hair dryer over here turn it on and start the process you see all these nice big chunks coming right off like this literally took four minutes y'all and honestly the freezer is not even ready yet it took me less time to do this than it did to boil the water um, I'm now going to take this opportunity of it being kind of wet in there and off and empty and this is when I clean everything in there. All the surfaces get wiped down, the drawers get a good wash, um, and just basically a good reset. So as you can tell, look at all that steam build up. So basically in here is kind of done. And again, the steam really helps with being able to clean stuff up. Look at all this ice. And there you have it folks, a perfectly clean and defrosted fridge in under 20 minutes, literally under 20 minutes. And look how clean this baby is. And it really took no time whatsoever. So yeah, just close the door, wait a couple of hours. What I normally do is I take my little tray of ice over there, fill it up with water and put it in there. And once that is frozen solid, then I know I'm good to go to restock the fridge. A super organized and clean fridge and freezer in less than two and a half hours. I hope you enjoyed today's episode on how to care for your Dometic fridge. Dometic. Oh my god, I said it right. <gasps> Guys. I mean, I did a lot of outtakes, so you don't know, but I said that at least 17 times. Very wrong. <laughs> but anywho, we'll see you in a couple weeks with the next episode. Bye. Huh? You're a girl. She's the cutest. She's the cutest. She's the cutest. She's the cutest. Why do you always have to be so curious what I'm doing? Are you being helpful? Don't you dare eat me. Day, day. What you smelling, day? <laughs> <laughs>